Okay, so this is the problem number second. The following result were collected to for the two experiments involving the reaction at 600 degrees Celsius between the gases sulfur dioxide and oxygen to form the gases sulfur trioxide. So it is a simple reaction is given SO2 plus O2 gives SO3. So to balance this reaction we need here twice CO2. O2 plus gives twice SO3. Okay, this is the uh, balance in the reaction. So when this reaction is carried out, so there is a two, uh, there is a data is given. Expo in experiment number first, the initial concentrations are given. And what is the concentration at equilibrium? Basically, we consider the equi concentration at equilibrium. So it is experiment number one. And in experiment number two, there is the initial concentrations are given and the concentrations at equilibrium also given. You, we use this data and to find out the uh, value of equilibrium constant. So here we're going to discuss two reactions, K1 and K2. In both experiments, in both conditions, is it the values are same or different? So there is, a, we can find out the is it error or not. So simple, we consider this reaction. For this reaction, K is equal to concentration of SO3 power of 2 upon concentration of SO2, there is a power is 2 into concentration of O2. Okay, K is equal to, oh, you simple consider K, not a KP because not a pressure condition is given to you. So using this equation and using this way, we can calculate T K in the both the experiments in both condition. So for K1, for reaction one, K1 is equal to, so here we use same equation because same reaction is there, we just change the value. So for experiment number one, what is the concentration of given 3.5? So here, 3.5 upon, what is the concentration of SO2? Here is a 2. So 2 in the square is given. What is the concentration of O2? It is a 1.24 into 1.25. And the answer is, it is the 4.36. 4.36. For reaction second, what is the concentration of SO3? There is a 0 0.26, okay, 0 0.26 to, what is the concentration of SO2? 0 0.59, what is the concentration of O2? 0 0.045, so again we find the equation and we find the answers and the answer is 4.32, 4.32. That means in both cases, the equilibrium constant has the different value. There means there is an error in the equilibrium constant. So we can conclude there is a, we found the error in equilibrium constant. So first of all, we balance the equation. We write the equilibrium constant for given equation. Then reaction is same in both experiments, just values are given. So we just put the values and we get the answers and the answers are different. That means there is an error in the equilibrium constant. So it is all about the second problem. We're going to discuss third one. Okay, there is a one more problem given to you. Uh, calculate equilibrium constant for the reaction. It is the H2 plus CO2 gives twice H2O plus carbon monoxide CO at 1395 Kelvin. If equilibrium constant at 1395 Kelvin for the following reactions. So the two reactions are given to you. Using these two reactions, we can calculate the equilibrium constant for the given reaction. So we already have the two reactions are given. There two equilibrium constants are given K1 and K2. Using K1 and K2, we can find out the equilibrium constant for the first reaction. First of all, we write the both the reactions. So, for first reaction, for first reaction, it is a K1 is equal to, so we write this one. So here, concentration of H2 upon into concentration of O2 upon 
concentration of H2 is the square. Uh, I check it first, the reactions are more same. Sorry, the first reaction here is the H2O, not so H2O. So here is the H2O. Okay. For second reaction, there is a K2 is equal to, and again, there is a twice CO2 and uh, plus twice CO2 plus O2. Sorry, here is a CO, sorry, because reaction is not balanced. Okay, CO. So, K2 is equal to concentration of CO power is 2 into concentration of O2 upon concentration of CO2. It is a power 2. We already get that equilibrium uh, constant values, equilibrium, equilibrium equation for the both the reaction, because we already have their values here, 2.1 and 1.4. Similarly, we force the first reaction which is given for reaction, for reaction given, sorry, for given reaction, for given reaction. So K is equal to, there is a H2 gas plus O2, CO2 is given. So here H2O, concentration of CO upon concentration of H2 upon concentration of CO2. So we write the three K equations for the both the reactions. First reaction, second reaction, K1, K2 and the K is right for the given reaction. So here we consider the ratio of K1 and K2. So here we consider K2 upon K1. If we consider K2 upon K1, we consider this equation so for K2, the equation is given, this one. So CO upon O2 upon CO2. And for K1, the equation is given, but it is the proportional. That's why we change the power denominators. It is the H2O power is 2 upon concentration of H2 and concentration of O2. So this is the uh, K2 upon K1, okay, we consider both these. So we cancel it, the common terms here, so we cancel this one, this one. So what we remain here is equal to CO, then H2O upon CO2, then H2, because this is the product CO plus H2O, CO plus H2 is the product, CO2 plus H2, CO2 plus H2 in a reactant. So this for it is a K2 upon K1 is equal to. So we consider this K2 upon K1 is equal to this one. That means it is the K1 and K2. So K2 upon K1 is equal to K square because this is the multiplication on product of K1 and K2, that means it considered as a K square because two equilibrium constants we consider K square. So K is equal to, so K is equal to, this is the, this side goes in the form of under root K2 upon K1. K is equal to under root K2 upon K1. And we already have the values of K1 and K2. So we have this value. So K is equal to under root, what is the value of K2? 1.4 into 10 raised to minus 12 upon 2.1 into 10 raised to minus 13. So answer is K is equal to, and the answer is 0. Point, sorry, the answer is 2.58. So K is equal to 2.58. So using this way, we can calculate, because the reaction which is given is the product of this one from, uh, it is uh, coming from these two equations. So first of all, we write the equilibrium constant equations for these two reactions. They are, we consider their ratio, K2 upon K1, okay? So K2 upon K2. So we neglect the common terms. So remaining equation is balanced for the, this one. If you see here, H2O, CO, at the product, H2 and CO 
is that the reactant just power of concentration is changed because here the two reactions are given their number of molecules are equal to power of concentration so this is all about the third problem we're going to discuss next one here last one